Before I show you any tables or anything, I will point out what a lot of people think. And they think that if you fly a drone that is sub 900 grams after January the 1st, you can fly in the A1 category. Now, that's half true, but it's only true in certain circumstances. In the reality in 2026, it's A1 category only if it's last map. Let's look at the drone type. A legacy sub 900 gram drone, Air 3, Mavic 3, bought before 2026 without a class mark. It's got no class mark on it. Can it be flown in A1? No, it cannot. Why? Because A1 privileges are class based and not weight based. And I'll go into it in more detail for those who like that kind of thing. A new sub 900 gram drone with a UK one class marking, can it be flown from A1? Yes, it can. It's eligible for A1 flight. Okay. A new sub sub with a, a 900 gram drone with a UK two marking, not for A1. What the law says, but simply being a, a sub 900 gram does not automatically give you A1 status. Right? The only way it gets those A1 privileges if it actually carries a class mark that places it in A1 under the UK class system, right? That means it must have a UK1 mark. Or, and here's the confusion, if it has a C1 mark, it is allowed to fly in the A1 category. So if your sub 900 gram, 250 gram plus drone has a C1 label, that and that you could have got that with the EU. You can still get it. I'm going to explain how to get how to how to get it <laughs> if you don't already have it. It's the European. It was the EU's classification, and it's carried over until the end of 2027. So up until 2028, if you have a C1 mark on your heavy drone, your big drone, you can fly in the A1 category. If you don't have a C1 marking, you can't fly it in the A1 category. If you buy a new one, a new big fat drone that has a UK1 marking, you can fly it in the sub 900 uh, the A1 category, right? That's cutting through all of the reasons, uh, all of the diff different reasons why. I could go, I could give you all of the different reasons why and show you all the, all the legislation, the breakdowns, but that, that would just confuse you. The bottom line is that if your bigger drone has a C1 label, you can fly it in the A1 category like this. If it doesn't, you can't, you can only fly it A1. Three or A2, if you have a, 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 a certificate of competence, right? So, how do you get a C1 label if you don't have one? It's complicated, but not impossible. Because it's nothing to do with the UK, you can't apply for one in the UK. A C1 label is part of the EU regulations. Now, you're thinking, well, if it's the e reg EU regulations, what's it got to do with the UK? What it's got to do with the UK is that if you get, if you have that EU regulation C1 marking, or if you get that EU regulation C1 marking, you can fly that legacy drone up until the end of 2027 in the UK, and then you wouldn't be able to, right? But it's 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 basically the UK just carrying on the EU marking until the end of 2027. So if you don't have one, you can get one, but it's complicated. I'm just going to tell you how, how you can get your C1 label. Now, on your big fat drone, allowing you to fly your big fat drone in the UK without remote ID as if it was a mini drone up until the end of 2027. And this is how you do it. 
and it's not easy. First of all, you have to apply for the C1 label, and there's only one way of applying for it. You can't email anyone, you can't write. You have to go to an EU country, any EU country. Is it 27 states? Or is it, well, there are 27 when we were in, and now there's 26. I can't remember. But there's probably 20, about 27 countries that you can go to, including Ireland, right? You can go over to Ireland, that's an EU country. I don't know if Ireland's closer than France. Depends where you are in the UK. Right? Ireland and France, are pro or maybe even Holland, uh, are the closest EU countries. But you have to go to one of those. And the reason for that is because the only way to apply is by a pop-up that happens on your remote control screen. And the pop-up automatically pops up when you're in an EU country, if you want to apply for a C1 marking. If you're in the UK, you won't get that pop-up. It just doesn't happen. So you have to go to an EU country, first of all. And when you're in an EU country, you turn on your drone, you turn on your controller, and once it all boots up, you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to apply for a C-class category, a C-label marking. If you go ahead and you, you say yes and you, you fill in the online form on your screen, the other thing that you have to have is an EU address because that's where they will send, post out the label. They will post that label out to you to a, an EU address. Once you get that, now I don't know how long it takes, <laughs> <laughs> but if you go on holiday to the EU for two weeks and you're applying your first day, fingers crossed that it arrives in two weeks to wherever you're staying. But if it doesn't, you'll be back home by the time it arrives. So you have to work that one out yourself, how you're going to get it shipped to an EU address. You may have friends or relations in the country that you visit. And when you fire up your controller and drone, oh, <laughs> nice fireworks. Uh, and apply for apply for the C1 label, you put in the address of your friends or family in that country. So then when you go home, if the label arrives after you've left, your friends or family will have it and then they can post it to the UK to you. Once you then, I'm going to put my hands down, I keep getting all these stupid pop-ups. Once you then have your C1, your EU C1 marking, what you have to do is you have to put it onto your drone. You have to take a photograph of that label on the drone and send it to DJI. DJI will then send you the certificate and it's the certificate that is the proof that you have a C1 marked drone, not the actual label itself. The label itself is just a label that anyone can stick on. You could probably print one off and stick it on yourself, but it doesn't make it valid. It's the certificate that comes from DJI that makes it valid. So once you, once you send your the photograph of the label on your drone with the serial number of the drone, DJI will send the certificate and they're going to send it to the EU address. So you still have to have friends and family there who are going to post it to you. They will post that out to you. And when you receive it, you now have a certificated C1 drone, big fat heavy drone, that you can fly in the UK in the A1 category, same as this, without a remote ID. And you can do that up until December the 31st, 2027, when the regulations change again in 2028. Here's the best way to fly your, your, your big fat heavy drone if you don't have a C1 label on it, right? And that is to fly under Article 16. Okay, you don't need a C1 label, you don't need any label. A legacy drone that's got no label whatsoever on it, you can fly it under Article 16. Now, 
I've, I've live streamed and I've made videos about Article 16, so I'm not going to get into a lot of detail about it, but I will, I'll give you a rough a summary of what Article 16 is for those of you who don't know. If you are a member of an organisation such as FPV UK or B, BMB, there's another one I used to be a member of, can't even remember what they're called, <laughs> British, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but there are a couple of organisations, maybe more, that you can join. I'm a member of FPV UK and it's 25 quid a year, I think it is. That's what the cost is. And for that, provided you follow the, their requirements to fly under Article 16, it means that you can fly, and that's doing things like uh, creating a risk assessment, a couple, couple of wee things that you have to do, but nothing that anyone can't do. Very, very simple things. You can fly... Imagine there's a 30 metre globe sphere round about your drone, your big fat drone. A 30 metre sphere. And that 30 metre sphere can't can't be, you can't bring that within people or buildings. Except when you're taken off and it's then reduced to 15 metres. And if you stay in cinematic mode, then that reduces again. Okay. But you can do that with, under Article 16 if you have if you don't have a C1 marking, right? Article 6. I did speak about it at the very beginning. I spoke about articles at the beginning of this live stream. I spoke about Article 16 and said that you can still you can do that with a new drone, and you can do it with a legacy drone. You're entitled to do that, provided you are part of an organisation that and you meet those requirements. You can check the websites of of. BMCAA or whatever it's called and FPV UK to see what the requirements are. You also get, uh, I think it's it's five million pounds worth of um, insurance, third party public liability insurance with FPV UK and I think it's 12 million with the other one that you get. So that's that's a handy thing. And that's that's all built into your cost as well. You also get access to their chat rooms, their help, the support system, the the different uh, forums or fora, if you're old school like me, where you can you can interact with other members and admin and, and moderators and ask questions and, and look at information. You get all of that as part of your your subscription 25 quid a year it's well worth it in my opinion so even if you don't if you don't have if you don't have a c1 label on your drone your big fat drone two ways you can fly close to people is get a c1 label as i described earlier how to get it go to your eu country blah 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 or fly under article 16 by joining a group such as the bmcaa or BMFCA or whatever it's called, or FPV UK. Join one of those two groups and fly under Article 16. That's the two ways you can do it. So all is not lost, Stevie. <laughs> okay. I know that you're already a member of FPV UK and I, I know that you already fly under Article 16. So for you, nothing changes on Wednesday. You can still fly your Mavic 3 and your Air 3S exactly as you were flying it today, if you flew it today. 